Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I am quilting one of my UFOs. I will show you the completed quilt top when I get it off the frame, but I thought that I would show you how I'm actually quilting this quilt top. I'm actually quilting it block by block, and I'm using my circle ruler to stitch a circle around in the center. So let's start with that. So that's the only time that I'm using the circle template. I do have my ruler base on. And then from there, I am just going to start putting in feathers. I'm going to stop there so I can cut my thread. And I only did half of a feather here because when I end I'm going to come back and that's going to be my end spot so now I've got to back up and then put my next feather so I'm doing a traditional or shall I say the Amish feather I think it was originally with the Amish I'm not really sure but I thought I read that somewhere so now I'm just going back I'm putting feathers and then trying to stitch back. But I'm trying to get better with back stitching so I don't want to do it slow all the time to stay on the line. So I'd rather have mistakes while I'm learning. I find this open toe foot does help with that. So now I have this last feather here, and normally I try to catch it on the down, but I'm going to have to go up, make a feather, and then come back down so that I can be back on my center line. And so you can see here where I backtrack, and I tried to meet where the feather touched there. So now I want to throw feathers on the inside and I want to make sure that my angle is the same. So I want to swing out, do a partial feather, and then come back. So there's my partial feather. I want to backtrack and then throw my other feather. And I can't put the camera right in the middle because if I do, then I can't see to do the backtrack. So this one you'll have to see with the camera on the outside. And I just messed this center up. 
so I will take this stitching out. What I wanted to do was swing around so that I could touch. Okay, so my center on this one is not very good. So I will take that thread out. And of course, this happened while I was recording. I've done many blocks and haven't had that problem. So, but I will just show you. I've got like a square and a square and a square. And then I also have some plus blocks. And then I also have some square and a square blocks where I've got the main print in the background. So basically, I kind of have like three different blocks here that I made. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one more taping of this. So I'm just trying to get myself in the center here or about. So that's basically two of these that I have stitched for you. They're all the same in all the blocks, so I won't bore you with continuing. But I will show you the finished quilt top at the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.